Sneakers and Stories, a podcast from Pint of Stuff with Mr. B and SJ. It's Saturday, which means it's another Sneakers and Stories. And uh, yeah, hi, if you haven't been here before, I'm SJ, this is Mr. B, and today we are joined by Mark Ferguson. We up are in, in sunny Scotland. And looking, Mark, it, it, it looks sunny. It we're, does we're look sunny. <laughs> it's, um, it's definitely not. It's horrendous. <laughs> it's raining and it's windy. Uh, and you couldn't get any more cliche. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, Mark and I and Mark and SJ have been talking over Instagram for a while now, bouncing backwards and forwards, um, probably commiserating most of the time. <laughs> Um, on when we don't quite get the sneakers that we want and um, uh, certainly Mark joins us on Sneaker Streaming Sundays and the Wednesday Waffle on Pint of Stuff where um, we debate many things inclu- including whether um, whether goofy or regular is the correct stance and whether we should really oust people like me who skate in, in, in a bit vaguely M- Mongo-esque way, which we won't go into the detail of. <laughs> see, he's laughing right now. You you can't, you, you listeners can't see, but we can see Mark um, th- through the software that we use to record the podcast. And he's already smiling because clearly I am in a very, very small minority. But uh, Mark, w- welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's good. It's no, good. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, it's um, you know, I think what are we now, SJ? Is this week twelve? Week twelve of sneakers and stories. And um, if you are listening to this on um on iTunes or Apple Podcasts or whatever they decide to brand it this year, um, if you could leave us a review, um, and and do the thing, that that would be amazing. Um, do the thing. Well, you know, you're supposed to type. Do the I thing. don't know what the thing is. It's just <laughs> it's a thing. You sort of I'm. Again, people, you can't see me, but I'm kind of typing like a in, mouse in, in the air. Um, but yeah, so if you could do that, if you if we've managed to get this on YouTube, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and all that stuff, and 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 leave us a comment uh, if you like this kind of thing. Um, but I think you know, obviously, we've um, we've generally dived into a similar bunch of questions with all of our guests. So you know, it leaves it to me to really hand it over to SJ to kind of kick this off. So, where did all of this start? What is your earliest sneaker memory? Um, to be honest, I can't really remember anything before I started skateboarding. It was all kind of generic. You know, um, my the high school I went to and the primary school I went to were all uniforms, so um, there was no expressing yourself there. Um, so prob- around about 12, I remember the first pair of sh- skate shoes I got were the Rowley, the Rowley XLT. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think they were white and red. And that would have been in 1999. Okay. So, and it's yeah. that, is, 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 is it that shoe that then sort of, because... I kind of like, I think you, you, you know, you talked there briefly about, or just mentioned that it's from skating. So would you think that really you're a, like, is it, you're a skater and you happen to have shoes or you're a sneakerhead and you happen to skate? Um, no, definitely the former. Like I'd, I would consider, well, I don't, I can't really consider myself a skater anymore. I like to think I am. But, <laughs> you and me both. Um, um, yeah, definitely the former. Like I'm, I'm a skateboarder, and probably always will be at heart. Yep. <laughs> you know, and that sort of influences the the dis- like you know any fashion choice I make. I've sort of swayed away from it, and then but it always seems to come back to, um, you know, Thrasher or Van yep. or something along yeah. those lines. Yeah, completely, completely. So you know, is there. And, and again, people who w- I can see in the background from Mark that there's a blend of Adidas, Nike lurking in the background there. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, do you do you sway what one way or the other? Um, I think see since about 2010, since the Janoski started, mm-hmm. I, I almost had a full decade of 
like full on Janowski. Like I just, yeah. I loved the way it, it fitted. Um, you know, the, the fact that you could have the same shoe with so many different Completely. colorways, patterns. Um, so and many good sort of, colorways as well. Yeah. And then the last probably year, I switched to Adidas because they had some heat. Mm -hmm. that the, so I'm, I, I don't, I don't have any preference over one or the other. I, I like them both equally. Like I think um, Adidas, like the three ST. Yep. Um, all four of them, like super comfy. Yeah, I was surprised. Um, and then you can't beat a blazer. You can't yeah. beat a blazer. Obviously, you're part of the blazing squad, um, clearly, <laughs> um, which uh, for which is a, a reference. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we won't go into the details of 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 that. Um, I I refuse. Um, even though I've probably got as many blazers as I have dunks. I yeah, refuse. you've got more blazers than you think. No, 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 no. I'm not having it. <laughs> Dunk boys for life. <laughs> I, I would go as far as saying, and, you know, this might get some heat, but I'm going to say I prefer the blazer to the dunk. I, yeah. I think we've we've had this discussion before, I think, but I just think the blazer for me personally is just more of a wearable sneaker with 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 anything. It's kind of like, for me, it's like the Nike of Com. It's like the blazer is like a chuck. They go with everything. Yeah, yeah I, mm. I, I could see that. Like, I I think this... I don't know what it... Like, I I think it was the dunk that first really brought me to SB. Um, and I flirted then with Janowski's for a long time. You know, you know, I came... You know, once once they came out, I I, I actually probably left the left dunks and, and just bought Janowski's like yourself. Um mm. And I don't think I actually I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't think I actually bought a blazer until 2016 2017. So that's like that shows you. But then something happened, <laughs> and it just like it looks good on foot. I like the way it looks on foot, but I I think I don't know. I find it personally. I find a dunk more versatile. I'm curious. Um, I'm curious at the moment around all of the dunks that are like that are hyped actually whether that they skate well or not. I'm I'm not convinced they do probably last more than you know do, do you know what I mean they kind of they look a bit yeah. a bit fancy. Um I don't yeah. I don't know whether they've built with strength. So I I'm, I'm yeah it's I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm really torn. Like I, I'm just, I, I can't. I'm a dunk person. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I, I can't change my mind. Yeah. There. There's, no, there's no denying that some of the stuff that's been coming out over the last couple of years from the dunk wave is, is sick. There's no, there's yep. no denying that. Yep, definitely. Um, I, I'm trying to not like it as much as I do because I know there's just no chance of getting it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. I think um, I've said this many times. It's cyclical. At some point, the hype is going to shift. Let's just hope mm. it doesn't shift to Blazers. Um, let's hope it shifts to K-Swiss or some mm. rant. <laughs> back, back to Jesus. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let them, let them have that. Exactly. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. It's um, it's kind of um, you know. So I know we've kind of meandered a bit there, but um, if that was so, we talked briefly about right at the start there of the like your first kind of I suppose the first shoe that you would properly remember, but like I see a fair few boxes behind you there. So what would you say at the moment? And I say at the moment just because I think there's a lot of heat coming this year. What, what would you say was your most cherished shoe that you've, I don't know, actually I'm going to say of all time because sh shoes sh shoes come and go sometimes as, as we wear them and we, you, well I can't throw them away but that's another story. Um, there's been a few dunks back in the day that I 
that I skated really and ripped apart and now I see them on StockX and everything and I'm like oh man you know that pretty much enough to get together a, a second market you know? <laughs> exactly so and, um the 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 send help high tops yep. the the j packs okay um the Bix, but my most cherished my most cherished is a blazer um, the mission the mickey reyes mission blazer i don't think i know that one no, I don't oh think I do. oh oh we're gonna have to I can, I can show you if you like yeah go on oh it's 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 lurking yeah it sits here man i just so, get it out on oh it. he's going I, straight i into, wear it as well straight into a pink box there everyone so you can't see this but he's pulling it oh, okay that's really nice yeah, they're nice. Oh, I love the orange. And then the, uh, the insole as well. Let's have a look at this. So we're going in for the insole. Obviously got a zoom heel unit there. Um, oh, it's a bit dark. Let's... Oh, it's got a skull oh, on the inside. Nice, yeah, I see it. On the so insole. it's got orange skulls on the inside. That is really nice. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so what year was that? Do you, do you roughly remember? 2006. Okay. Yeah, it's a pink box. Ah, yes, um, of course. Duh. So I actually, I actually got them in 2006 really? for 55 pounds, and I skated them, and ah. they went in the bin. No. And then last year, I got them uh, with the OG laces, OG box. Everything. Um, Everything. The but the, I don't think. I think if they had been worn, they'd been worn once or twice. Yeah. And the person who sold them certainly didn't know what they had. Really, really. <laughs> yeah. So did you? Was that eBay? Was that a friend? Like a contact or? Stuff? It was. It was eBay. Oh wow. And there were there yeah. were a certain price yeah. that it says or oh, best offer. Oh my so word. I put in a best offer and it got accepted. And I was ecstatic. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. It's um. I was that could nearly have been the one that got away. You know, it could have nearly been. Mm. I can't. But so so you had it originally. You skated it properly hard. Checked it away. Yeah. And then that and there's one there's one that if I could get for. You know, a reasonable price is a dunk that I would get again as well that got put in the bin would either be a Shanghai 2 mm -hmm. or a Umpa Lumpa. You skate, oh, well, of course you skate the Umpa yeah. Lumpa, but like, uh, yeah. the thing is, that's what they're, that's what they're there for. That's what, that's what they're, they're for. for. Yeah. And I had so, I had a lot of fun skating them. Like, they were, uh, oh, they, do you know what the FC Zoom is? FC Zoom. I'm going to look it up now. Um, I'm so just... this is this. That's the shoe that got me into Nike SB um, because I'd been looking for a skate shoe that was thinner than a boat. Okay. What? So it looks. Um, it kind of looks a bit like a Gato, yeah. It looks a little bit like a Gato. Yeah. Yeah. They they re-released them. Um, I've got one to say like one or two years ago they re-released them a bit chunkier than what came out. Okay. Oh you know yeah, you can see they've got a bit of a chunkier sock. Kind of looks like a weird hybrid between a the Gatto and actually oh, this is going to sound odd, but a Cortez. Yeah, I think it's a football shoe. Yeah, originally. yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, they did, they did. Um, I had the, I had numerous pairs of the old black ones. I had the Brazils. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually swapped the Brazils for a, a deck. So I test for you know back in the day that like, if you snap a board, yeah, uh, I'll give you my shoes for a board. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 was it about? What were they like? Lightweight? Did they, they feel the board? Lightweight. Oh, just everything about them. They, they they wore in super quick. Um, but the only the only thing that was wrong with them is they you could roll your ankle so easily yeah. in them. Um, but they were a great shoe, and then and then the dunks started coming out and were accessible mm -hmm. um, in skate shops. So you know there was they were always sitting on shelves. Really, it did for a long time. I you know I, I try like certainly our local, um, even what 
eight years ago, they would just sit there. Mm -hmm. I'd go in every week. It'd be the same pairs on the shelf. Um, yeah. Which was, it was good for me. Like, the kids weren't buying them. You know, all, all they were buying mm -hmm. at the time was Janowski's. Yeah. Um, and he saw, yeah. like, the guy was telling us that he could just sell loads and loads of those constantly. They're so versatile, though, that anybody can wear them. And mm -hmm. It did take away some of the shine off them. Yeah. That everybody and the dog were wearing them. But at the same time, like, they'd come in from somebody who, you know, you watched in, like, old skate videos and you know and he's he managed to get his own shoe on Nike yep. that he designed himself that exactly. isn't an actual silhouette from another shoe and it's i don't know it's pretty sick it's a good story like th there's that um there's that video on youtube which which sort of celebrates the 10 years mm, isn't there yeah. Is, yeah yeah um yeah which is cool which is really cool but um yeah. it's uh and, and like he just does his own thing Janowski just does his, he just doesn't, he doesn't seem yeah. to care. He's just like. His artwork is crazy. Some of the sculptures he does mm -hmm. is, yeah, they're insane. He's crazy. But, um, so that was the, the most cherished. And, and actually, I'm really glad that you showed us that. And, uh, you should definitely put that on Instagram. <laughs> Nod. <laughs> <laughs> definitely put that yes. on Instagram. I will. <laughs> we'll I will. Make, make sure that we show that. Um, but um, I was going to say, what's the most underrated shoe, do you think? But I think we might have just talked about it. Mm. I think the one, what have I got just now? I'm trying to think what I've actually bought lately. Because I, I think the, I've really just lately started buying shoes that, uh, not. I hate saying hype, but they are kind of hype. Like dunks, I bought the I bought the Spectrum highs. Like they are, yep. and you know, I regret. I, I struggle. I struggle to wear a high top. Really? Why is that? But, um, I don't know. Mm. Really, like I just the blades are mids. I can I can get with. Yeah. But the high tops, I don't know what it is that. I think they the sit weird unless you break them in properly, mm -hmm. and it was fine when you skated because the broke. You know, you you tore them up a little yeah. bit. Um, but I will rock them. And I live in Scotland as well, so... I can understand I can, the... You're going to have, like, two weeks of the year to wear them yeah. without them getting yeah. trashed. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going to yeah. look good. They look amazing. Yeah. I got the Isle Blazers as well. Um, mm. Again, right. I'm struggling with them as well. I don't know why I bought them, really, because I'm not really a big fan of, like, all black shoes. Struggling with them in, what, as in to wear or to... Or... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm not really, I don't know why I bought them, because I'm not really the biggest fan of all black shoes, but they are a, a, a great looking shoe. I think they're... See, I think they're really nice, and the only reason I didn't buy them is because I actually felt that they were more of a sort of September type sneaker. As, mm. as the weather turns, I think they're, they're like perfect for going into fall. I just didn't feel that it was... Well, here it felt it was too sunny and light to be buying an all dark sneaker. That was the only reason I didn't get them. Which I know I I will probably regret come come September October, and I'll be like, oh, why didn't I buy those? But, mm. I, I really like I I I like that patch. I just think that that yeah, not everyone likes it. I know it's a, I, I think the patch is a bit marmite. Um, I think you either. You, I, I think that's what swayed it for me. Yeah. It's a punky sort of slightly, I don't know, like I just, there was something about it. It was like, okay, they're not messing about. They just put that there. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of, of how they dipped it and did all, like you have to watch the videos on what they allegedly yeah. did to make mm -hmm. it. But yeah. Um, and there's something sort of intrinsic about, you know, Nick Jensen having a hand in it with, you know, like old blueprint. and Exactly. Yeah, it's just something something there i don't know something felt right about buying them so i did and, and now time will tell yes i i think you should wear them um yeah although... I, I i wear like i'm not one of these people who don't wear that like, i will wear that i wear all the shoes like i'm not keeping them yeah but fresh like i buy a pair of shoes to wear them yeah when i can exactly yeah. see that's the thing that people don't understand like the intent is that we will wear them 
Mm. But I don't just want to go out in a Force Nine gale like <laughs> like yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Like like like, like yeah. yesterday was a bit of a yeah it was a bit weird here yesterday. Of it sh- should not be blowing a gale like this uh, in May. But uh, yeah, so so I sp- so if that's underrated, um, now this is this might be a tad tad sensitive. What about the one that got away? Do we count yeah. the one that got away yeah. today? Well, we don't know for sure yet today. It's still, you may still hear back. Well, to, to be a hundred percent honest, like I'm not, I'm not going to be fully upset if I don't get, you know, the the ice cream dunks. <laughs> the ice cream dunks. Yes. Dare I mention the name? <laughs> but I'm not going to be fully upset. Like to be honest, like I'm not fully upset about any of them. Apart from one, which I'll talk about after the the one that got away, um, oh, the tweed blow. Yeah, I've never never had it. Um, I've had the chance to buy the tweed high. Really, but don't don't rate it as much as the tweed low. Um, yeah, I think if I was gonna, if I got the right opportunity, it would be one that I would spend a little bit more on. Yeah, it's uh we we had the chance and we did. Um we once in a lifetime trip at the time in flight club. Um the high was there as well, but the low is uh, the low is just nicer I think. It's nicer. Mm. I will say, because I've worn it, it does have a little bit of jean bleed on the back. Mm. <laughs> which makes me a little bit sad but i've worn them so it's um, yeah. you know and and they're still holding up considering their age yeah yeah so, i've seen a, f- a few pairs on some platforms that people have realized holy cow these are worth a fortune um t- a year and a half two years ago you could have probably sourced them for a hundred quid yeah easily yeah easily yeah it's um, um but so if if that's if that's the one that you're like kind of thinking about, you mentioned that there was another that you talk about. Yeah, the 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 ones that came out, I think it was only a couple of weeks ago. The laser oranges. Yep. I think it's a personally, I think it's one of the nicest dunks that's come out in the last couple of years. Yep. <clears throat> and it's the one that I've tried more solidly to get than any of the other raffle dunks yeah. mm-hmm. which again is crazy that you have to raffle to get a gl a pair of shoes yeah 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 um the, the laser oranges and the muslin dunks as well they were nice i so as, want those <laughs> not as nice as the laser oranges so i did i did um you buy did. them you did resell <laughs> which is the first time i've done it um because i wanted them a lot and i also got them a, a half size too big for me because it was cheaper a half size too big still Re- wear them. You, yeah okay so so you'll still be able to wear them properly at oh, a yeah, half size yeah, too big. Yeah. I'll, st- I'll still be able to wear them um easily but they were good so so what cheaper than so which site did you go to for your dirty dude? <laughs> eBay. 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 Oh, really? All day. <laughs> oh, wow. So... Um, I don't... I, I, StockX has got some absolute fire on there, but they're just the fees are just insane. Yeah. Yes. Um, Depop, people are too savvy on there now. Yep, completely. eBay is quick and... Dirty. It was, yeah, quick and dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a horrible world we live in. I've uh, I've just thought of something. eBay is like the pot noodle of of of, <laughs> of, of, of the reselling world. It's quick and dirty, yeah. but it, it's at times you just need it. It gets it done, man. And then as soon as they arrive, I can pretend to myself that I got them off um, sneakers or something like that. You know? <laughs> I got these. I got these legit. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you know you just really want a shoe, 
Um, yeah. And, if yeah. You're really... and I, didn't, I didn't pay too much for them. Okay. I paid one, 150 which is I don't think is too bad. That's not too bad over, over retail when you look at what, you know, what they're hovering on those other reselling yeah. platforms. Yeah, so... they're like hovering around the... F- Two set two twenty two seventy mark plus fees. Yeah. So I think that's a yeah. good price at the moment. I yeah. think I think if it had been normal times and we weren't all in in this COVID lockdown, um, and so obviously the manufacturing supply chain of Nike kind of got a little bit disrupted three months, four five months ago. I think we'd have all been able to get them relatively straight in a straightforward fashion. Um, because it was supposed to be yeah. a general release along with the Blue Furies and, and those mu- those Muslim ones. Which I, yeah, which I really want. And like I was looking online, was it yesterday? Um, and they uh, were, what were they? Were they like 170 for my size? Yeah, I think and so. It's just like, oh. 170 just plus, plus fees. So I just don't. 20, I just, 30 quid. Yeah, it's like I just don't. I haven't bought anything resale. You've bought resale for me. Does I that just count? yeah well, I don't know <laughs> I I just don't like fueling it but it's like I really do like them they're just clean neither do I I don't I agree with you there I don't like fueling it but at the same time what choice do we have yeah <laughs> well yeah I don't, don't get them yeah exactly yeah, yeah. It's, it's don't get I suppose it's it's like the choice that we have is that there will be another shoe coming Mm. that will equally as feel as much Mm -hmm. i think i think i don't the problem with that is they just keep getting better yes yeah yeah and and you forget about the one that you really wanted two months ago exactly you get you get upset again (laughs) not upset (laughs) not upset you know upset's a strong word yes It's it's a sort of like maybe 10 minute crank you're like, oh, the it's, whole world's against me. That's exactly what it is. I think you've just nailed it. It's the 10-minute crank because it is about 10 minutes for me and I'm not a pleasant person for that 10 minutes. <laughs> I have honestly put my hands up and not be a pleasant person of just like, mm. oh, really? Really? Um, and and I, you, do feel, you do feel, leading up to that moment, you feel like you're the luckiest person in the world Yes. and you're going to win them. Yes. And then nothing. Well, I was talking to um, the, the other, I was talking to SJ about this, um, I don't know when, it, last week, I think, and I was saying, I think that actually it's the thought that is potentially more exciting <laughs> than, the, the, than the getting. It's a little bit like Christmas as a kid, you know, like when, like, the excitement builds to such an uh, an amount. We, we we would call it excitement as a kid. I think for people who are into shoes, it's hype, and yeah. it kind of fuels it. And 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 I just don't know whether. I just think it's then you, if you do win, yeah, they're really great. You love them, but I don't think it ever matches the the feeling just before, just before. It's like every Tuesday for me in the lottery, where I'm definitely <laughs> going to win the lottery. You see, yeah. for for the chunky donkeys, I entered only three raffles because I was like, I'm just not going to get them, so I'm not even going to go putting in loads and loads of effort because I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, <laughs> I I entered I entered a hell of a lot, um, but it's because I've got the time. Like I I'm so I'm because I'm a student. Like I don't. Uh-huh. I've I've got. I, so I handed in the last, my last piece of work on Monday there, the yeah. 18th, and I don't start back until the 8th of June. So I'm pretty much like, filling out an Instagram raffle. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it, it passes a few seconds. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> but certainly if I was, if I was out, if I was back at work or I was at uni, like I wouldn't be spending my time. Yeah. Like, filling out raffles um it's um, i feel i feel dead sorry for the i'm, I'm kind of torn to be honest about feeling sorry for the shops like it's great it's great that they're getting this sort of recognition like these small independent shops but at the same time like it must be horrendous getting however many thousands of well, messages they're getting. i think um well it was focused that posted on was it yesterday that 
you know, they, they just were botted totally. Yeah, the, ev- ev- even their form. Yeah, they just, yeah. yeah. So that was botted. I think um, I think Note put up a thing. So Note did it in Manchester where you had to send an email explaining why. And I think they put up an Instagram yeah. post saying they got 10,000 emails. Like, I can't even imagine going one. through 10,000 emails. No, I did that one. Yeah, um, I did that. Uh, so so lame. I put, I sent them a, I sent them an email with um, three pictures. <laughs> One is me sitting, um, you know, Macba in Barcelona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sitting on the steps there with a pair of the J packs on <laughs> skating. Yeah. The other the other is a um, a pair in Barcelona. You know the nipple things in Barcelona. Yes. They're like brick brick yeah. humps. Yes. Yep. Sitting there with a pair of the Bix on, you know, the yellow, black, and white dunks. Skating. Okay, this sounds like a good entry to me. Yeah. Sounds better than mine. <laughs> another one was at a skate park with another pair of dunks on that I can't remember the name of, but the best dunk I ever skated. They had like a, a bright orange nike on the back of the dunk but i can't remember the name of them for the life of me all right i think we're gonna have to ask levi tomorrow on on sunday on on the stream because he he just knows (laughs) stuff like this or or alwyn alwyn seems to have an an encyclopedic sort sort of memory for every dunk that ever was i i do like i think note said it they had like that those ten thousand entries uh, attitude. We're t- talking about the fact that I think their video got like a hu- like ninety thousand or a hundred thousand likes, which is their videos are great. Oh, they're, yeah, amazing. they are amazing. they're amazing. They're amazing. They really put the time and effort in. But you're right; like it's good for the shops. But I think if you think about how many pairs they get, yeah, I don't know. They get maybe they get twenty, thirty pairs. I've you, always been interested to find out how many, the, what number they actually get. You kind of even you just start to do the math and what maybe they might yeah. be making and actually the amount of effort that they put in. Yeah, I think yeah. what what Focus and Welcome did though by creating their own merch around the theme was really <laughs> yeah. clever, yeah. really clever. Yeah, like, I, bought, I did buy the um the Welcome, you know the the Travis Scotts that came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I didn't try once for any of those. wasn't a fan of okay. that shoe. Um, but I did buy the, you know, the the brought out the T-shirt, the yeah. Cactus Jack T-shirt. I bought that. I thought that was cooler than the actual shoe. That's nice. So I bought the T-shirt. Well, I, I tried to get the stuff from from Focus, from Focus this but morning. it was sold out yeah, in our same, size. Same. Yeah. That, was, that was dope. I yeah. was ready to buy the pink hoodie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wearing the pink hoodie yeah. everywhere. I think they um, said um, that if it sold out, they were going to put a, uh, a pre-order sign-up form up later today. Yeah. So yeah. so yeah, I mean that's that's just a really really clever way of of them making extra money on the yeah. back of the hype, and I think, I think that's, so. that's yeah. super smart. I so I I, w- I want the, the the stickers from Focus as well, just because I just <laughs> just because you love stickers. I love I love the, the, the <laughs> I, I love the carry drew. Like it just looks cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the the Angus. Yeah, the Angus. Yeah. it's so cool. But uh, yeah. they had those in the city I live in. They just I live in um, Sterling. The, Okay. And below the ca- below the castle, they they sort of change. I don't know who changes them out, but it changes between sheep and oh. Aberdeen Angus cows. <laughs> that's that's so random. Yeah, <laughs> that's such yeah. a random thing. So, out of all of the um, the hype that we kind of know that's coming, or or, or well, or even not hype, um, what have you got your eye on next? Um. I did see the smart. I seen no a couple of days ago. I seen a new denim dunk in the works. Yeah, I Quite saw like that. the look of that. It uh, looks super nice. I don't know the name. Uh, of it. Is yeah. is that the one that no, Nike? That the Nike SB called out some. Yeah, they did on their Twitter account. Some, oh, uh, it was hilarious. Some, the, yeah, the high, <laughs> the high top guy. Yeah, is I literally yeah. called it out. Going right, okay, so You've wrong, ch- name. <laughs> 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 yeah. wrong name, wrong name. Uh, wrong release date or something. You've clearly just ripped this from Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks super nice. Um, again, probably won't have any chance of it. So I'll, pro- I'll talk. Like, I'll say one that I like at the moment is the navy, just G- GT blazer, the low one. Yeah. See, I really like that. 
that's that's super nice really clean i really like that sort of sail white one with the gold swish mm. as well they're both re just yeah. really nice grs what about the um the, the kevin bradley pack that's come in the blazers uh, kevin and hell yeah um are you I into know, strappy uh, blazers <laughs> uh, you can be honest you can be really you know honest i've got i've got a pair of um velcro janoskis that have, that have two straps across them and i struggle massively to like, i love it i think it's great but i struggle massively to wear it um <clears throat> the blazer i I know uh, you love it, Mr. B. <laughs> I'm obsessed with um, that. I'm, str I'm struggling to, to be, I'm struggling to say, yeah. I'm no, not really a, a huge fan of them. I, I, I think I've said this many times. I think I just fell in love with straps on, on and Velcro by going through US customs <laughs> so many times where they make you take your shoes off. And I've just like this is like the this is the laziest way for for me to do it. It's it's like obviously I sometimes just just slip out of them, but I don't know. I just I travelled so much in in a pair of um, I think it was the a, a numbers collaboration with SB, mm. and um, I just wore this pair so much that they felt like slippers. Um, mm. To the point, I bought another pair, but the suede doesn't feel the same. <laughs> And so you were gutted. I was really gutted. Like I was just like, no. They look like different sneakers. It's that they're that different. It's really weird. Yeah, I just advise any anyone who travels a lot and has to go through U.S. customs where they make you take your shoes off. Um, they make you take your shoes off here. Do, do they make Most you take your time. shoes off? In the well, UK? not for your rent. I think sometimes they do. But on that point, though, I would maybe just go for like a, a slip on Janoski. <laughs> I knew you were going to come back to that. Yeah. Um, no, the slip on I, in in later times, like I think the slip on Janoski's of are, are, are better, better than some of the laced ones. See, I don't, I can't get on board with the slip on because it, the front of it looks really high up. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It feels like it comes f like compared with a van slip on. Okay. It feels right, like yeah, that yeah. that front bit just comes up that little bit too high for my light, and I just I don't know, right. like a cowboy boot. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know what it is. There's just something about. I, I get you. I get you. It's not it's not flush to the floor. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I I don't know. I um I think I. The, the same reason I have to wear a half size up on dunk highs because of the way my, my foot's a bit weird. I think <laughs> I, f I find that sometimes I slip on, I can't get my foot in properly. Um, you know, it's what else did we try? I tried, I tried, I tried a, a few years ago the Medicom Dunk Elite High. I right. couldn't get in it. Like, I like, I literally <laughs> could, like, I was. In my mind, I was like, okay, so if Ronaldo c can get his foot in these slip-on things, I clearly can. Uh, but I don't know why the logic of me... I find, is. The, I find the same with some blazers, like mid-blazers. Yeah. Um, most of them, obviously, SB are lacing them to within an inch of the line. Oh. Yes. But the only ones I've found lately that I can actually get my foot in without you know, cutting off the circulation to my foot easily as the oscars yeah no you see with, with those there was one morning i was running a bit late for work and i was like i really want to wear them really want to wear them because i hadn't worn them and the heating was on in the house and it was really hot and they were laced so tight like i was like trying to rush to try and get my foot in there and i was just like i'm like sweating here trying to get into a pair of blazers because they were laced so tight so i i abandoned trying to get into them <laughs> it was, yeah but yeah they are like you're right with every pair of blazers that have arrived recently oh, it's like proper effort <laughs> so maybe <laughs> you've just you've just triggered a thought in my mind so jordan ones come unlaced <laughs> and we i don't know if you've watched that last dance documentary on netflix but like Michael Jordan has to lace his own shoes in it. It's so funny. And and I've moaned for for years that Jordan ones come unlaced. 
But maybe right. actually what happened was Michael Jordan got the first samples back from the Nike factory and we're like, you guys, you're lacing these like ridiculously. They're just laced with it. Right, from now on, all Jordan 1s are going to come unlaced. And maybe that's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd be quite happy for them to come un yes, unlaced. Completely, completely. Yeah. It's, um... yeah. The Jordan thing, I struggle to get on board with it. Um, I just don't suit them at all. The only ones that I've liked recently are the um, the, lo the one, the, the low one shatter backboards there. Yeah. The orange and black ones, have, oh man. They're really nice. They are. They're lovely. And there's some coming out um, in the near future. The ghost green ones. I don't think I've seen them. Uh, they're they're pretty nice. I'm pretty sure there'll be another big <laughs> lose on the <laughs> shoe front. But. Well, it's um. I think with the like the Jordan one, like if you struggle with a dunk high, um, I could see how you might struggle with a Jordan one high, um, because mm. certainly. There are times when I haven't got my glasses on and I'll be rifling through the boxes and I'll be like, oh, what's it? Oh, and then, oh, oh, that's not a dunk. <laughs> that's a <short. laughs> uh, make that they, are, they are incredibly similar. Very. I'm assuming they probably came from the same the same shoe. It's the same soul, isn't it? It's similar soul. Everything, yeah. like, you can see that there's a family history there. They're definitely, yeah. They, yeah. they definitely play in the same park, um, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, now, before we, we came on and, and we were chatting, we, we talked very briefly about, um, about you buying a PS4 um, and how you've, uh, you're attempting to relive your childhood. So what, just tell us what you've pre-ordered. Oh, so I pre-ordered um, Skater XL, which I've been, I've been kind of stoked on for the, the better part of a, a year. Yeah. Um, and I was pretty happy when they announced they were going to come to the PS4 and the Xbox and all that. Um, so I pre-ordered that. And then two days later, literally two days later, I see a, a thing on Instagram about Tony Hawk's been re-released. Yeah. Tony Hawk 1 and 2, no less, as well. The best. So, and, you know, the, the clip that they showed with the... I can't remember what song it was, but... I've heard it, you know, you know, you'll know the song if yeah. you see the Instagram clip. Um, smashing through the factory glass yep. over the pipe. And I pre-ordered that, but I didn't just pre-order the game. I pre-ordered the one that comes with a, a board nice. that comes with a deck. Um, because, you know, as if you just said to your parents when you were, you know, 13, yeah. or when did that come out? 99? Yes. It said it had been 12 or something. Same year I started skating. And if you decide to your parents, like I want that ninety pound version with the, <laughs> the skateboard that comes with it, they'd have just gone. They'd have said no. Yeah. But I'm an adult, and I can make that decision for myself. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's a, a sensible investment. Um, it's a yeah. It's a, I'm. We will be getting that. Um, we are. I still. I still dabble on skate three to the point where. Um, SJ, if you want to just run in the corner. So people who are listening, obviously you can't see, but SJ's about to run into the corner because I wanted to show Mark this board that we've also got lurking from another video game, um, which uh, I, uh, I, I, I can't bring myself to put trucks or anything on this board, but we've got from Skate 3. Yes. I love this board so much. <laughs> so much. Are they... Um, are they actual skaters on the front or is it just a silhouette i think that these 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 are just just characters i don't think these are actual skaters uh, um that's I, pretty that's pretty great though but it's it's so good um so this will this will have to go on the wall at some point but i uh yeah so as a as somebody who works in that industry do you do you um feel sad that they, they probably won't make skate for I um I I don't know um I like I like Skate Three is great. I think what you know what I'm intrigued by I'm intrigued by the new mechanics in Skater X like the different like that because what, what's because Session has um it has a similar kind of mechanics so that 
the sticks control your feet. And I think yeah. that that's going to be, you know, skate obviously had its its way of 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 playing, and obviously if you, if you go all the way back, Hawk had its its thing. Um, skate obviously was a great evolution from that. It's something that felt more real. I'm curious to play Excel. I'm curious to play Session, just because I don't know if I have too much muscle memory from from the old. From like like, yeah. like playing on skate three, so I I yeah am I I'm I am, but I'm 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 also looking forward to what's coming, um, from from the other companies. Um, yeah. Do I think that they you should? Should, you we forget? On? Well, we forget. I forget that you know skateboarding is literally a drop in the ocean to what other games are out there. From you know why would they make skate four when they've got yeah, Call of Duty. Well, I, think I think there's the hype it. for it. It's yeah, th- you know, it's. I think you know, it's interesting. If you if you go on YouTube now and you just go and look, there's still people making videos on it. Yeah, and it's what ten years more. Is it really that mm. long? Yeah, it'd be longer than ten. I think. I think it's ten years. Um, and the server's still on for it. Yep. Yeah. They switched. So they switched them on and just left them on. Yep. Yeah. So there's oh. still that random person. In in the still random <laughs> yeah. stuff, we we made a we made me the we, other week. We, didn't we, we we made a version of SJ the other week. In my antihero top. <laughs> she was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> they, they, and my Janoski. They have Janoskis in there. <laughs> so I was, I was no. yeah, I was going through all like all, all the shoe options, and there's clearly like a bunch of chunky DCs. There's not so many Nike SBs, but like they have Janoskis for sure. Yeah. It was just funny. I was. Um, I was contemplating a few months ago about actually buying um the og links the dc links that came that got re-released would you really and I was, yeah i contemplated it very very like short-lived contemplation yeah. but um just b- back then i think that's what sort of stoked the nike sb thing as well that just every shoe was just massive yes and yes i I think what changed the game as well was. Uh, do you remember the Lackey Manchester? I don't, but I'm. I'm gonna just. All right, let me just. I'm just gonna look that up, people, because I'm really intrigued now. Um, aha. Oh, it's a nice looking shoe. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, oh, Google's doing something crazy. Um, Black Eye Manchester. I'm just going to go for image search. Okay. Yeah, those, yeah, yeah. yeah, I very much remember these now. Yeah, yeah you can. This, what I find interesting when I look at skate shoes, um, that I don't know, like, what's the next big innovation in skate shoes? Like, I, I was thinking, I was thinking about this the other day, and you mentioned those, the, those, those three ST. Um, I'm sure I've got that the wrong way around, um, but like we have those, and they obviously got boost in them. Um, mm. That they're shaped in a certain way. I don't think. I, I, have you skated them? Briefly, like I've well, skate skates a, a strong word these days. Like I've, I've been in the back garden and okay. done a couple of kick flips, and they they they're comfortable. Yeah, but at the same time, like. For a skate shoe to be a hundred pound, it's a lot, mm, isn't it? It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and to be fair, I've got I've got three pairs of them: um, the white, the orange, and the baby blue ones. Yep. And I've not paid a hundred pound for any of them. Really? Which is, yeah. Which is the only reason I was, I'd got them. Okay, um, that's interesting. So I was just wondering, like, I've got the I've got the orange. Which are really nice. And they're lovely. They're really, but I, I just don't know whether they would last. Like I, I feel them. Like the suede doesn't. F- you, do you know, like how some on on some like SB blazers, for example, it's really tough. It feels suede. tough. Yeah. yeah. It feels like yeah. it's gonna take a batter in. Whereas you feel mm. those 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 Adidas, and to me, I was, which is why I asked you the question, like the suede feels too nice and soft to take much of yeah. a beat in. Yeah, I think um, 
I think it would rip through quite quickly. Mm. Um, and to have to... Did you ever use Shugu? So I used... I use silicon sealant from. Um, I don't know. So like, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, right? like like. So I'm talking a long time ago. We would just go down to what was B and Q. And B and Q stands. <laughs> well, no, yeah. and, just, and, and just put but that it, on the shoes. Yeah, so it it would seem very very obscure to me to have to use something similar to that. Yeah. On a pair of shoes that cost a hundred quid. Yes, completely. Point so. Definitely, um, if anybody is skating them, then fair enough. If you can, yeah, or or, or maybe they're just cruising, like yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh, yeah. it's kind of um, I d yeah. I was just I asked you the question because like we I don't get out on a board much, um, and so Same. certainly it's it's difficult when you've got a mortgage and you know if you can you can break a leg then it's it's not the same as when you're. 16 and you can it, just go and fill at home for eight weeks and it'll also heal faster and there won't yeah, be like, yeah. the, certainly the older i get things seem to take longer to repair um <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah uh, you have you have muscles that you never knew you had you know that you pull a muscle sitting on the couch yeah exactly yeah. that's completely right completely right that's, uh, <laughs> i don't know like it's just things seem to be a lot easier when i was 15 um, it's been nearly a year since yeah. I screwed my ankle, and it still isn't quite right. Yeah, it's um, yeah, well, that'll teach the dog to run into <laughs> you and knock you over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, I, I think um, I w you know normally we'd also ask people like what was the most extravagant purchase, but I've got a feeling. Well, actually, no. I, like, is the is that laser the would you consider that to be the most extravagant even though i think that you did really well with the pricing based on where, on where they're at now um no i i did pay when i was at when i was doing my undergrad i did spend much a lot of my student loan on <laughs> some, <laughs> some daft purchases like i had a pair of um amazing this, this and is, I, I, I lost, I lost them as well. The, I had a pair of the HR puff and stuff dunks. How? Like, uh, there's obviously a story in like. Is there a story in, the, in losing them? Well, lo moving in and out of like moving in and out of holes, and then I moved into a flat with some pals, and then. I just don't know what happened to them. <laughs> like, do you remember? Do you remember the the, the Hawaiian the Hawaii donks that came out as well? I think so. I had those as well, and I don't know where they went. And I had the hoodie to go with them, and stuff just went. Stuff just went walkabout. That's such a student. <laughs> but, uh, such a student yeah. thing. The, the HR puff and stuff. They were. Uh, they were. Uh, I spent a good whack of a month's student loan on those. Um, Wow, and that was daft because they were they were half size too small for me as well, so they didn't really fit. <laughs> but they were just I I wanted them. I seen yeah. them in um, I think it was FTC in Barcelona. I yeah. seen them in two thousand and six. Nice. And I I didn't buy them, and I think they were only like fifty euros. Ooh, really? But, yeah, but I didn't buy them, <laughs> and then I got the opportunity to buy them, and they were they were over. They were over two hundred pounds, and it's probably the. That's a lot. Yeah, uh, but I wouldn't. I would never go over that for shoes anymore. I don't think. It have unless to... it was the Tweed Lows. <laughs> See, there's always one. There's always <laughs> one. There's always yeah. one. I'm. Um, I I don't. We were talking about like what what would I buy them? I think if there was one shoe, I. I Ooh. I think I think it would be the Atlas um, from 2015, the Home Dunk. Um, there's no real hype to it. Like they, it was just released in store. Um, it's just because you didn't get it. Just because I didn't get it. Well, I've seen them. I'm gonna have a look at those. So they're the, so they're, the Atlas high. Uh, they're so it's from so it's from Atlas San Mateo. Um, 
they are they're a black dunk. They came in a special box that looks like um it looks like an Agfa Ooh. film box. The laces came in like a little film box. There was a little um there's a booklet to go with them which I've got somewhere. Yeah, like you have. they gave me all the stuff. Like like, oh yeah, we've got this stuff lying around. It's like, okay, that's cool. Um a, a couple of years later. And I've got the one that was I've got the version of it that was released in the US generally. Uh, mm -hmm. I just don't have that one and I um just because of it's it's associated with with the store is why I'd want it. Um there was like I think um I think FTC had a dunk as well uh around 2014, 2015, I think. I wouldn't mind that. Um again just cuz FTC San Francisco versus the Barcelona store, but it's um yeah. I'm just thinking extra like extravagant not the price, but the the most bizarre dunk I ever had. Yes, was probably one of the golf packs. Why was it like? Because I wore the tongue, <laughs> I wore the tongue on it back in the day, and it was just out there and outlandish. But that's that, that, at the time. Yeah, it's um, I I'm, I'm trying to think like ex I don't know whether like extravagance probably like it's. Like there's always a shoe that has a story. Like, like we talked to the annex and they explained about there's a certain pair of shoes that they went to Berlin mm. to go and buy in a store to do a thing um, that's kind of stuck with them. And um, I, th you know, I think even the way that you've described, you know, you you had the opportunity in Barcelona to get them. It's like mm. that's why. That's why, even though spending that that money felt a lot, actually, it had it had meaning yeah. to you personally, uh, which I think is always you know that's the best thing about this. Yeah. Um, there's always a little story yeah. behind something. I st somebody somewhere has got them. You know that. Yeah, it's chilling in a box. Yeah, exactly. They're like, yeah, yeah. They'll just rock out, and then and then maybe in ten years' time, like they'll pull them out, and then they'll like, yeah, I'll just check on the internet. And they'll be worth thousands. Yeah. It's sometimes nice to think that actually, like, I did have tons and tons of dunks, but I skated them because, like, would it be any better now to sit, like, for me to no. have 30, 40 pairs of dunks sitting in a... I would like to have them, but I certainly had a, a great time skating them. And, and I didn't, like, who knew? It, that's the thing that's the thing who, who knew i think actually mm. i think probably skating them at the time and the fun it, but i think the other thing that probably makes them more special is that you now know like the way that things have been so there's like they're always that sort of the nostalgia of like yeah i i actually did have them and i did skate them. yeah 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 you, yeah. you know you talk to alwyn and he talks about shoes like that as well, like completely. Yeah. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, I did that thing. But um... yeah. <laughs> it's, it's weird now as well. It's, it's almost like I think about it in terms of like I still buy shoes at the same rate I did when I skated, but now they don't go anywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> apart from like chilling in the house. Like, you know, I used to put them in the bin when they were skating yeah. and done. But now they just gather. Yeah. So it's like I've forgotten that I don't skate anymore, but I still buy them. I th Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I think no. we're all. I think we're all holding on to that. We're all like we're all holding on to that in some way. Um, yeah. It's, uh... and, and to be honest, like this might be controversial, but none of the like, well, some of them were, but a lot of the skate shoes weren't that nice to be keeping around. No, I can imagine that. Well, well, depend what the no, ones that, the ones that you've yeah. worn, or just in general. So, so the shoes you've worn, or the ones in general. Uh, what a uh, one, 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 one. Yeah, yeah, I don't mean that they were ugly skate shoes. I oh. mean that you know you wouldn't keep them around. Oh God, no. Once yeah. you skated no, them. no, no, exactly. no. They'll have holes in. Like, yeah. I, you, Although you, know, you still keep, well, you keep yours from like the the past ten years. They didn't you pull a pair out that were like fifteen years All old? Right. The they other are day. fifteen years old, yeah. But um, I did do that. But I wouldn't. I 
like if I had shoes that had got to the state when skiing that I'd put silicon sealant on and <laughs> generally was trying to hold together as best I could at the time, um, I yeah. wouldn't, they, they, they would, you would, this, well, first of all, the sole would have fallen off. There'd be a hole in the side. The the leather would be in some horrific state where the stuff, had, uh, the, se the sealant would have come off because I remember we had to keep putting it on. Like it wasn't like a a one and done yeah. job at the time. Like no, we, no. we are talking. You skated it for another week and then put some more on. Exactly, exactly. And, and yeah, like, yeah. It was, yeah. And at the time, you know, we're talking like the late eighties. You, they let you buy stuff like that in B and Q as well. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. certainly wouldn't let a fifteen year old buy that. Now. I've just had a, I've just had another thought about two shoes that I bought this year that I that are quite different to what I would normally buy. Go on then. One of the one of them is the the Shelto Metropolitan Superstar. Nice. How how are you? And the other it? one is. Go on. Oh, it's a it's a lovely shoe. I've never ever like messed with Shelto's before. Snap. Mm. Snap. Um, but, but that and the the gun the new guns one. It's amazing. The beautiful shoes. Yes. Um, yeah, like it, I see the Metropolitan uh, superstar. I I flirted with for absolutely ages. Um, even I can remember last August being on parade, and they had one. They had size eight, and that was the only size they had, which is my size. And I didn't buy it. And then I kept going on the website every yeah. few weeks, and it'd still be there, still be there, still be there. And then when lockdown hit, I went on it, and it was still there, and I was like, oh, man, I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, that one hit. And then the Gons one came out as well. That is such a great shoe. Such yeah. the materials on it are ridiculous. Or I, I yeah. think they are, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's different to anything I've, I've got as well. Completely. So is there anything that you've bought that you kind of regretted buying? Where you kind of got sucked into a bit of hype, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Come on, uh, deep dark secrets. Hype, <laughs> to be honest, I, uh, oh, this is horrible. I hate saying it, but I, I regret buying the um, see the the deconstructed blazer. <laughs> not the deconstruct. It's like the not the deconstructed one. What's it called? Two seconds, sorry. That's that's literally if that's the, if you are talking. Oh, here we go. I can't see, remember the name Mark's of it. now like what you can't see, people. Is Mark is rifling through his shoe boxes. He's going through. Oh, this one. Oh, oh, it's a Ooh. recent. It's a recent one. Yeah, it's, it's a, a it's a recent it's one. A purple I've... box. What is it? Oh, oh the, the edge. The, the edge. Now the that, edge. Yeah. What, see, I've got that. But in it's um it's in so Mark's got that that looks like that's the watermelon colorway. I yes, think. it is. Yeah. And I've got the the more blue variant of that rather than that. So why don't you like that? Uh, I don't know. I wish I'd have. I wish I'd have gone with a more solid one. What the grey? The grey was yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm harder to get. Much harder to yeah. get. But really nice, yeah. So yeah, of all of them, I really like the grey. But I, d I don't know. There was just something about it. I don't like that material that they've got on the inside of it, around the the mm. heel. It's the same as what yeah. they they used on the the orange label blazer, and I've got the white pair, which yeah. I absolutely love. But that material would just get so dirty and grotty, and I just is that the ones with the gum sole? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, they they do look like a lot of pictures I see of them. They do look like a lot of them are cracked. Like the material's cracked. Well, the leather on them is is buttery soft. Like it's beautiful right. leather. That it's just whatever they've, they've, whatever material they used on the inside. It's yeah. almost like a towel in. It's weird, and then it just mm. looks dirty quickly. That's that's my only negative with it. And they use the same. I don't know if it's the same on the inside of your edge, but it's the same on the inside of yours, which is why I didn't want to get a pair. I assume it would be. So have, have you actually worn them? Uh, 
No, because I bought them when we've been in lockdown. Ah, uh, <laughs> ah. I just wondered. Um, I was just curious if you'd bought them, and what, whether you would take the dunk, the fake dunk tongue, out of the blazer edge. No, 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 no. No, I'm not. Like, I, I do. I like the double. See, when when you were younger and you skated, I used to cut the tongue out of shoes I was putting in the bin and stick them in my shoes. Ah. And then the tongue would off, yeah. That's a kind so of I'm, a, I'm a fan of the double toe. Yeah. Okay. That's see, we we've had people say that they would take them out. Now, personally, I'd leave it in because, in my mind, well, I'm wearing a dunk and a blazer. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. I'm 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 like I've got everything that I need in life then. Um, but I'm um at the moment I'm toying with getting the Bruin Edge, um, more just to see, but yeah. also I know someone who's who's good with can with spray cans, so yeah. I'm tempted to send them. But off. you wouldn't. You wouldn't use the silhouettes yourself. I like see. I think I'd just end up shaking and and it'd look bad. Whereas if I if I get someone who I know can, who 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 I know knows how to use spray properly. Yeah. Um. And um, is expert. You know, um, Manny Santiago. Uh. Is is a escapes for uh, fortune and. No, I don't. He. He has his own backyard park, and he sprays he sprays loads of different Bruins. Um, really? Yeah, he's pretty, but he he seems to be very good at it. I think, like, I think once you get, you know, I, I I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's a skill that I could, um, I could pick up, but uh, this is a one time thing. I'm not buying like five pairs of Bruins to like, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. here's a practice. So I'm gonna like, I'll probably. I I was tempted to do like to create a stencil for pint of stuff myself, but I realised that that's that's I haven't got the patience or the 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 dexterity in the hands these days to do that. So I was I was going to buy them, send them off to this guy with the proviso that right, you got to spray one swoosh. The rest, fill just fill your boots, just just do your thing. <laughs> And, and then send them back, um, and then we'll we'll do something with them on the channel. I don't know what, but uh, and he's he's pretty good. Yeah, he's um, really good. I I did I was randomly when I was having the conversation with him, he was like, uh, I can't talk like on on Instagram chat. He's like literally, I can't talk. Someone's chasing me. It's like what? <laughs> well, I was out doing a thing, and I was like, okay, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are. They are pretty expensive for a brewing though the, yes yes completely. Um, there, there's some that's just come out that would be equally as cool to spray paint the one the white and orange ones yes mm. completely completely yeah. um i just thought that the those edge would be kind of interesting because they come with the stencil um so yeah. we, we could yeah. kind of like do a couple of swooshes and then him do his like drip face things that this guy does. Yeah. Um, which would be Seems interesting. Seems to be a thing at the moment, doesn't it? The custom. Yes. Well, uh, I, th I think if you go back, you know, yeah. you, you go back in time, it's that customization, you know, that's no different than you really cutting the tongues out of your, yeah. your, your, yeah. your, your beat shoes and, and, and putting them in your, your new shoes. Yeah, so. I do have a. I've got a pair of um, white Janoskis that I coloured in with highlighter pens while I was in a class. Really? And then, yeah. And then when I got home, I just fully went for it with um, a um, oh. a black marker pen and like, then loads of different like pink and yellow yeah. highlighters. And and then I was like, oh Christ, why did I do that? <laughs> and then put them in a box somewhere. <laughs> Well, if you find them again, if you find those, we will need to put those on Instagram as well because uh, that... oh no, man, they're they're staying. Oh well really? Hidden from the <laughs> they're so outlandish and outrageous. That's uh, the artistic the artistic nature of, of Mark comes through. <laughs> no, it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Well, I think um, you know we've been we've been wow. An hour and ten minutes. We're an hour and ten minutes in, so um, I just want to say to everyone who's listening, thank you for listening. Um, thank you to Mark for for joining us this week. If you haven't given us a like in your favorite podcasty platform, um, if you could do that, that'd be amazing because it does. Even the podcast platforms have algorithms that we're all slaves to, um, like we are on YouTube. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. 
Uh, Mark, thank you yeah, for, thank for, you. for joining us. Um, oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. It's Thanks a, for having me. No, thank you. It's um, like I love chatting with people that we chat with um, either on Instagram um, or on Sneaker Streaming Sunday or the Wednesday Waffle. Um, I need to think of one from... I'm not doing Monday nights. It's <laughs> no. Just, <laughs> I've got no time. <laughs> I'm running out of time. But uh, yeah, so thank you. Um, we'll, uh, we'll let SJ press the button. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see everybody on the next podcast. Yeah. We'll see you later, Thank people. Thank you. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Listening to sneakers and stories. Oh, the comedy exit. <laughs> <laughs>